All right, I'm going to start with, uh, uh, we like to build up. So we started with cream ice and a little of this and a cereal and a little of this. Now we're going to get into some heavy ice cream. And I'll also show you how to do a variegate, a swirl. Which you could probably get up here and do it now, couldn't you? Uh, and we'll make uh, peanut butter and jelly. There you go. Another kid flavor. There you go. Because I love kids. <laughs> well, who doesn't believe that I love kids? Do you have kids? Huh? Do you have kids? Well, I have reasonable facsimiles of kids. <laughs> All right, so for this, for this, the recipe calls for five quarts of mix, five quarts of mix. So we'll go back to this, and maybe this time it won't go on the floor. Five quarts. Five quarts of mix. And we'll use this machine right here. And we also, when you, when you plan out your run, you want to not have to clean or rinse as, as, mu as little as possible. You want to have to do that. So the last flavor, peanut butter and jelly, I'm sure glad I don't have to clean the machine. <laughs> okay, five quarts of mix. Some vanilla. How many ounces? If it's five quarts of mix, how many ounces of vanilla? Uh, five. Correct. Five. Ounce per quart. That's good. Huh? Vanilla is king. Vanilla is king, right? Vanilla is king? Is vanilla king? King of vanilla? I don't understand. You know, you put so much vanilla in there. That's a lot of vanilla. Yeah. You can never mess up with vanilla. Uh, and now let's add the peanut butter. Steve bought this peanut butter because money's no object to him. This is uh, natural peanut smuckers, chunky. Chunky. She doesn't like pieces in her ice cream. Well, you remember, and I just told you. Okay. And. Uh, you know what I say to that? Like, if I'm making ice cream and I know that she doesn't like chunks in her ice cream, my, my answer is, oh, well. <laughs> well, because don't forget, it's not one customer. You know, it's, it's a whole genre of customers. So, we'll go start this up. And now we're going to add peanut butter. There's a better way to do it than how I'm doing it. Yes. If Steve was here, he'd tell you. No, I taught him. The better way to do this is here. Put some mix in there. Put your peanut butter in there. Get your drill out with your paint mixer. Yeah. Make it into a slurry and then pour it in. That's the easy way to do it. Should we do it that way or? Huh? Well, I, I agree. I agree. So let's hold off on this. And we'll do it we'll do it the right way from the go. What other products other than peanut butter would you typically do that with? Uh Reese's, Nutella. Well just use your head. Anything that's, you know, gummy and thick and all that. That's all. I got some gummy bears in my bag. You want to throw some of those in there? Uh, all right, so here's what we'll do. Uh, see that green bag there? That's a drill. I don't know if it's cordless or corded. Cord? Yeah, okay. And the paint mixer sitting right next to it. The paint mixer. <laughs> We're going to go that route. It's a paint mixer. 
Well, what's the difference between that and chocolate ice cream? You know, both, both thick. Or that breakfast cereal this morning. You know, spackle it one minute and uh, drywall. <laughs> yeah. My 350 every now and then will, will go, you know, just kick in for like. Yeah, that's the compressor. They all do it. Yeah, we designed it to do that. I haven't heard that one do. Oh, yeah, it does it. It's, it's like the grandfather clock in my house. Nobody hears it because it, it's yeah, common. That's a, very, that's a very good analogy. Yeah, it does it uh, to uh, make the compressor last longer. Did he uh, sound like a grandfather in his house? Huh? It sounds like he does. His grandfather? <laughs> Security. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll put the peanut butter in here gets harder as you get down the end here. So you want to add that much water? What? Yes, three quarts of water. Oh, okay, okay. It's six quarts of water. No, there's no water in here. Five quarts of No, we're making ice cream. No water. You put it in this Ice cream mix. Yeah, it's no water. Okay, so, oh, that came out pretty good. Do we have any other ice cream mix left over? Uh, yes, but not a lot. There, we need more, right? I don't think we don't have any more. Uh, yeah, I think you do in the other refrigerator. I think we used it. I'll look. Oh, I've already put peanut butter in this. That's fine. No, no, keep going. No, no, no. Yes, yes. keep going. All right, so we're going to use both jars because why not? How big is the jar? Uh, four inches high by about the jar is hang on I'll okay. tell you in a minute I'm not really sure I'm talking Steve bought these because we were going to make uh, the Elvis ice cream hunk a hunk of burning love banana peanut butter and chocolate that's Elvis but we didn't Hunka hunka. I made it in the store, and that's what I called it, hunka hunka. Okay, here it comes. There we go. All right, so now we put the whatever it is that's obnoxious in there, and then we take our. This is a paint thinner. You buy them at Home Depot, they're a little longer. I cut this off. They're three dollars. And it goes right in there. I got a video <laughs> and it's a really good mixing aid. It certainly makes it easier than putting peanut butter in the mouth of the machine. Which you'll do and I've done. And of course, cleanup is a breeze. You just take this off, put it in the sink. Uh, I can't take credit for this. My friend Kevin actually invented it. He saw me doing it with a, uh, I bought one of those kits for like a hundred. Steve, how much, uh, Look what I found. How much was that kit from uh, whatever with the, the thing that goes like this and the electric whisk and. Oh, my, my beautiful kit. Yeah, over how much there? was it? Like a hundred. About $340. See, and I bought one. $340. I bought one. It's a name brand. What name is it? Oh, uh, uh, look, you're right. It is a name brand. Yeah, it's a name that, brand. So it was a, it was a $60 piece for a, it was a $300 yeah. name. What name is that? Oh, let's see. Oh, it comes in this beautiful case. Yeah, I got suckered into buying that too. What else? KitchenAid. KitchenAid. Yeah. If you want to waste your money like I do, just buy this. Or, or do what Jeff does. And I bought that. And I put the whisk attachment on, and I tried to do this, and I heard it laughing at me. Yeah. 
See, Jeff sells himself out in the part time as a handyman. So if you want him to come in and put in electrical appliances, he'll make your ice cream at the same time. <laughs> Anybody else on the sandwiches? Sandwich? Can I sell a sandwich? Sandwiches! Get your sandwiches! Okay, there's your cleanup on this. Pretty easy. Take take two. Uh, so we have uh, we have the mix, and now we have the peanut butter. We'll pour it in there. Now, do you normally buy a, a peanut butter like that, or do you no, buy something? No, I, I buy that stuff over there on the shelf. It's Jif. Yeah. Uh, and I like the super chunk, uh -huh. just like you got. Okay, Jif is known for being easier to work with in ice cream than other brands. I love Yes, yeah. Well, it has more oil in it. So it lends itself to making ice cream better than what I bought. I was hoping that if he didn't use this, I'd have it for myself and Sammy, because we both love uh, peanut butter. Now, this peanut Jeff, butter... J-I-F-F. -F. Yes, it's on there. This is what I normally use. Jif Extra Crunchy. And it's, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know how this will be, but it's Smuckers. It can't be bad. Good to go? You bet. One of the, one of the uh, franchises out there, they have what they call a mixture of Italian ice and ice cream. Yeah, that's a uh, German parfait, uh, and, okay. and also uh, Rita's. A parfait. So we, we can call it. We can talk about those names. Then. Oh, sure. I put them in business. Okay, and, and so so uh, how do we we can make soft serve in that machine pretty much? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, Why would Rita's, you want to? Rita's and Jeremiah uh, both buy soft ice cream machines. $35,000. Right. Uh, in the first year that you own it under warranty, it'll break four times. Right. In the second year, it'll break eight times, and on and on. Um, the, the, the procedure is, okay, uh, I'm, I'm here, and I've got the, uh, I'm making the, he calls it a gelati, G-E-L-O-T-I. Right. Uh, when I was growing up, it was called a parfait. Gotcha. Same okay. thing. So, oh, I'm, I'm going to make a gelati for you. I'm going to put scoop some uh, raspberry ice mm -hmm. into the cup, tall cup. Scoop raspberry in, go over here, and pull down some soft serve. Mm -hmm. Go over here, scoop some raspberry, go over here, pull some soft serve. Right. It's 100 degrees out, it's Florida, and before I even hand it to you, that soft serve, which is a pretty crummy product, is already melting uh -huh. out of a $35,000 machine. Right. And it doesn't even taste that good. Now, the way I would do it is I have two serving cabinets. I have my raspberry ice and my vanilla hard ice cream that I made this morning first thing or yesterday last night. So they're making two actions, this and this. I'm going raspberry, vanilla ice cream, raspberry, vanilla ice cream, raspberry, vanilla ice cream, or maybe I'll even do raspberry, raspberry ice cream, raspberry, raspberry ice cream, or raspberry, raspberry chocolate chip. I can do anything I want, whatever flavor I want to make of the day, that's going to be it. Uh, but mine is hard scoop, it's not melting, I didn't buy another machine, I didn't waste $35,000, and nowadays you talk to especially the father of the family, and you're going to have soft ice cream on his uh, Corinthian leather seats in his BMW, he doesn't like you. And he doesn't really in favor of coming back to your store because the kids are melting that stuff all over his seats. And they're perforated, so the air comes through, so so does the ice cream go down into the perforations and his car smells like a Carvel soft ice cream store for the rest of his life. My question is, is there a device, because I've been whipping this around in my mind, that I can put your ice cream in, or this is the only way, reason I would ever touch ice cream, is to make that combination of soft serve uh, and, and Italian ice. Yeah. Is to press it almost like a cake squeezer. They make that little decoration. 
is a machine where I could just put that ice cream in, and pull the handle down, and it would come out in that circular thing, and I could go to the next one. Uh, yeah, it was made in about 1959 when I was about six years old. And, uh, huh? No, you don't. Uh, because it's not made anymore. It was called a Dairyland Rippler. And uh, you could take, uh, they took a hockey puck, we would call it, of ice cream, hard ice cream, put it in, and then pull down the handle. Um, you spent all day cleaning the machine because it's dairy. And if you don't sell another one for an hour or so, uh, or even if you do, it's contaminated. Uh, the Chinese copied it. I brought one in here for a while. It was cast iron, and you, know, you could see the lead showing through on the paint, uh, and uh, it cost about $3,500, and it took so long to clean it wasn't worth it. I mean, how much easier can it be than to just scoop, 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 all day long, scoop, scoop? You could even hire two people. Okay, you're in charge of the ice. You hand it over to me. I'm in charge of the ice cream, back and forth, but... Not even necessary. No, he's right. It has been made, but it wasn't worth the cleaning time. You know, that's what nobody looked at. We, we had it at the National Ice Cream Retailers Convention in Charleston about 15 years ago. And it looked great until we watched the guy spend 40 minutes cleaning it. And we said, who needs this? I'd like to show them how to do uh, this. Hey, hey, please, you gotta listen. Sorry. Okay, what we've got in the machine is the peanut butter and mixed concoction. And now what we're doing is we're putting some Smucker's uh, sugar free. Sugar free? Steve went shopping. Sugar free uh, jelly. No, what I would use is. Uh, I didn't even realize it was sugar-free. No. Nope. Here's what I've got. Welsh's Concord Grape Jelly. There you go. The real deal, right? It's what we grew up with. See, we didn't grow up with Smuckers. We grew up with Welsh's. So that's what I would use, because I want everything to taste... You want to see? You want to Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should we add it in? It's even a different color. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a slurry of this. Ah, nobody's listening. Ah, yeah, nobody's listening. Nah, nobody's listening. To Nobody cares. <laughs> we'll whisk it up because we want to create a swirl. Larry, you're killing me. So we'll, we'll whisk this up till it's like, where's Rich? We'll whisk this up. You bought sugar free. I did? Yeah. Ew. Sugar free. Gross. I got to get these glasses fixed. <laughs> did you do it intentionally? No, I did not. I wouldn't think you would. No. So we'll add some of this Welsh's real grape jelly. Oh, thank goodness. Save the day. <laughs> Save the day. Okay, that's good. And we're just going to whisk it up. The consistency you're going to have to teach yourself. I always like to tell you it's like the consistency of thick gravy. Biscuits and gravy, thick gravy. And that's about it, isn't it? Okay. Now we can put the freezer on here and get this going. I got it. I'm just passing through. And of course, what we're gonna try to get out of this is the pretty swirl. And I don't care what it looks like, but in order to get the, a spoonful of the ice cream with a spoonful of the, the grape jelly, you've gotta swirl it in there.
Now what's in here? How did I get peanut butter in here? Out of the jar, of course. No, that's in there. What? Oh yeah, it's where it's making ice cream right now. What? What's in here? <laughs> eh, never mind. What's in here, in order, if you just put the jelly in here, it's not going to work. So you take a little mix that you've got in your machine, which has the peanut butter and the dairy in it, and a little secret ingredient which you weren't watching. The secret ingredient, Steve's using it next in his ice cream, so he'll tell you about it. What is it? <laughs> what am I it's making? This, right there. Oh, yes. All right, now, when you want to have a, a, what do you call it, a, um, a, a variegate, I always like the ice cream to be slightly thicker because as Rich pointed out yesterday, if, the, if you try to put the variegate in an ice cream that's too thin, it's just gonna absorb it and you won't have those distinct patterns. I put two of these here so we can see. These are the, the containers. By the way, when you go to buy containers, you can get these, or you can pay a little more and get these. Don't get these. These crack. These never crack. And they're less expensive. Restaurant Depot. And the difference is the same with spoons. Randy pointed out the other day, sometimes you go for ice cream, and they put a spoon in it, and when you take the, it bends, the spoon bends. That's cheap junk spoons. Those are polystyrene spoons. What we want is polypropylene spoons. They're nice and hard and firm. You learn something new every day. Yes, you do. Hopefully, hopefully. I thought you were just doing the bending spoon trick. <laughs> I've done that. No, the, you don't want those cheap spoons. And whatever you do, as we agreed in class, don't use styrofoam. Take all your styrofoam cups and throw them in the trash where they won't biodegrade for a hundred million years. But don't give them to your customers. It's not fair. Tony's looking at me and I'm gonna tell you why. This is the world's best ice cream. Nobody makes better ice cream. Would you sell a Prada handbag in a plastic bag? No. You notice when you go buy a Prada handbag or something, or a nice Mont Blanc pen, it comes in a beautiful package because the image is important. Don't put your ice cream in a five, in a two cent styrofoam cup, and then you gotta listen to the people going. <coughs> just, just don't do it. Throw well, it. When I grow up, I wanna buy a Prada handbag like Jeff. <laughs> Now this should be pretty good ice cream. And a pretty good variegate. Now that we put Welch's grape jelly in there. And the technique for doing it is kind of simple, isn't it? It's kind of simple. Only requires one thing. This and a squishy bucket, right? A squishy bucket. Here, here's a squishy bucket. Are you using this? No. You Mix, I'll take the mix and you can have the squishy bucket. Okay. This is only available at jeffmarkhowwesellanything.com. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're hard to come by. They're very hard to come by. Squishy bucket. Squishy bucket. You can't make the variegate without a squishy bucket. And you can't buy a squishy bucket. You have to steal them. Where do you steal them from? From here. No, no, no. No, you're treading on thin ice, Tony. Yeah, yeah. you want to see teeth come out, Sammy. <laughs> see, uh, they look nice. The squishy buckets come from... 
people that sell you wholesale ice cream in three gallon buckets, that's what they come in. Yellow ones, clear ones, frosted ones. That's where you get them. And they don't care if they get them all back. They never count them. So, <laughs> what? There's a place in Philly that sells two and a half gallons, wood ice, like that. Squishy. He, yeah, he That's cares it. if you bring the buckets back. With the top, only the buckets with the top. Yeah, but he won't care if there's one missing now and then. No, so, build up your quantity of them. Uh, we've got about eight here, I think. And I had to take them from the store that I sold. I left them three. Hey, I left them three. Uh, but they are, they're essential for a lot of things, but mainly variegates. You can't make a variegate without it. And you'll see that. And with it, a piece of cake. Oh, we're happening now. Help yourself. Help yourself. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Now, you should know, after I make this flavor and after you eat it, I'm leaving. Because oh. I... Right, because I have a three-hour drive, and I-4 is all screwed up, and I don't want to hit that traffic. And you so, driving at night. What? And you're stuck in traffic. Yeah, if I leave, uh, what time is it? 12.50. 1. 1. 1.15? 12.50. 12.50? Yeah. If I'm on the road by 1.30, I'll make it home by 4.30. Before the, hopefully, well, I'll catch the, late, the last of the traffic, but it won't be bad. <laughs> Normally, I don't leave early. Uh, but I'm leaving early today. <sighs> oh, I spoke. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all set. Yeah. Friday. Friday. Lunch okay. Time. We'll right. be uh, in the morning. Um, well, Want to write down the address where you're going? Uh, so you okay. can yeah. find it? We we'll find We'll find it. No, no, no. You have my phone number, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're almost ready. And everybody asked me to bring home ice cream, so I'm bringing home two gallons of ice cream. We made a coconut. phenomenal, I'm bringing home coconut uh, and Bailey's, one, Bailey's? one gallon of each. Cheesecake? I don't have room, I can only uh -huh. fit two in there. So I thought Bailey's and coconut. I would take the cheesecake, it was good. We made cherry cheesecake, we made ba Bailey's. Bailey's. She knows what Bailey's <laughs> Bailey's Irish cream, that's right. Hey Jeff, what you got? A cooler that you're gonna carry your ice cream in or something? I just have that styrofoam thing. I, I wasn't prepared really, uh, and I'll throw some ice over it. But and if it doesn't make it, I'll just start eating it. Well, that's, I have, I have the, uh, that yeah, the one that plugs into your cigarette lighter. Yeah, cigarette lighter. I left that at the store for them. Cost five hundred bucks for that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much did it hold? 
It holds, uh, you can get three gallons and a couple of quarts maybe. Five hundred. But you plug it into your seat, put it in your back seat, plug it into your cigarette lighter, you're good to go. It's like a cooler. Yeah. And you can set the temperature. You set the temperature on it. Set the temperature and everything. Okay, here we go. This is uh, peanut butter ice cream. When you're making this, put it, extract, extrude it into a squishy container. Okay, there's your squishy container filled with peanut butter ice cream. Right, Larry? Larry? And what we're going to do, I'm trying, Mike. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and pour it over the top. Not all of it. See the consistency of it? Mm. Going to pour it over the top. And then with a spatula, how many turns? Four, Four turns we're going to make in it. One. You can't see this really. Can. Four folds. One. Er, two. <laughs> Three. And four. Now, I, I put these clear containers here so you can see the, the, what the effect of what we're doing. Now you squish it. This is why you need a squishy container. You squish it, and you should get a nice variegate. That's Yeah, but we're going to serve it right now. A little more. A couple of folds. And now we'll serve it up. Thank you. Oh, yours. <laughs> 